Museums preserve knowledge, culture, history and art and make them accessible to the entire society. Museums and exhibitions have a great impact on the society and in this lesson we will focus precisely on how museums are perceived by people in their daily lives. In 1972, during the round table of UNESCO in Chile, the directors of the main museums in South America declared that the museum has a social role and it must be considered one of the most important actors for the development of the society. This was a fundamental step in the definition of the social role of museums. The process has been of course slow, but from that day onwards, many museums gradually changed their approach towards the society in order to better respond to its needs. So we can say that museums somehow serve society and communities. Museums should not be perceived as places inaccessible to the majority of the people and as enclaves for specialists. Rather, they can function as community centers. Museums are places of self-discovery where everyone can enter. Gary Tintero of the Museum of Fine Arts at Houston said that inside a museum people can see what other human beings before them have made and learn from these objects and discover themselves. Therefore, museums create identity and social cohesion. They have the role of bringing the community together and creating bonds between their members. The sharing of knowledge reinforces the awareness of being a community with a common past and culture. At the same time, in museums, people can also become curious about other cultures and more respectful towards the value of diversity. As already said, museums should be research centers and they should thus be perceived by the people as points of reference for divulgation and the spreading of scientific contents. Thus, they contribute to the intellectual growth of the entire community. To resume these concepts, we can say that a museum is a social hub. It means that visitors are engaged and encouraged to create connections and relations by means of inclusive and participative activities. Indeed, when exhibitions and events are designed partially in collaboration with the members of the community, their social value becomes higher. So museums should become more human-centered, bringing all the people, the staff, the visitors, the entire community at large at the core. We have already hinted at the social objects. Now let's explain in more detail what they are. Nina Simon calls social objects the artifacts which lead to social experiences. In other words, artifacts that allow and encourage interpersonal engagement. The premise is that we live with other people in a world where it is possible to establish associations, links, relationships. Moving this idea to the objects, if more people are interested in the same item, they will be connected more easily one with the other. Therefore, the museum staff can identify within the collection the objects that could be possibly playing this role and provide visitors with tools in order to encourage discussions. It means that visitors can be connected and can interact with others via the action of an object. This is a good strategy for the promotion of a person-to-object-to-person -to -person relationship. Always according to Nina Simon, a social object should be personal. The object has a personal connection with the visitor, maybe because it reminds him of something that has already been seen or experienced. Active, the object is physically inserted into the space. Provocative, the object has a sort of shocking feature. Relational. The object incites to an interpersonal use. An effective plan of action would be to design interpretative platforms increasing the social value of some artifacts and thus encouraging conversations around these objects. In this way, again quoting Nina Simon, it would be possible to reach a me-to-we design of museums and to move from personal to social engagement. Given the fact that museums must establish relationships with their social context, their renovation is mandatory. Indeed, museums must keep up with the changes in society and in this way be constantly able to speak with their public. The ways of communicating cultural heritage must be rethought from time to time in order to make the historical and artistic goods comprehensible by the community. 
the museum is in continuous connection with the world around and it must become able to speak with the world using the right language. Museums have an essential social function. They cannot think themselves as entirely detached from their social context. They should instead interact with the society where they are and keep up with its changes. For this reason, museums should constantly be renewed to be in step with the changing times. The idea at the base of the concept of modern museums should be that museums belong to everyone and everyone can enjoy the opportunities offered by culture and can benefit from education.